five years ago, Tim Hattrick, part of the legendary radio morning team of Tim and Willie, suddenly vanished from the Phoenix Airwaves, fired from Camel Country 108. And today, Tim finally returned to morning radio, joining Ben Campbell and Brooke Hoover on KNIX, one of Tim's old homes, actually. He spent 10 years there. I talked to Tim today about this, and he says the radio road back was rocky. I lost it all and thought I'd never have a chance to get back, and it's a miracle that uh, KNIX called and said, come work for us again. Tim Hattrick had one of the most successful radio careers in the country, and suddenly it was gone. But here I am at uh, 53 years old, and I can't find the jobs I want. Hattrick got a taste of what a lot of Americans have experienced. When the last bit of our savings ran out and there were still, there was still more month at the end of our money, as the country song says, but uh, in the meantime, we gotta keep the lights on. So I started taking, looking at everything and anything. And in the past five years, Hattrick did it all. I did drive for Uber for uh, <laughs> the better part of a, a year and a half. It was like interacting with people one listener at a time, one very captive listener at a, at a time, and it was awesome. He drove for UPS. Again, another fascinating experience, but here I was working like, <laughs> working really hard, doing real work, and, uh, and just out there delivering packages. And he worked filling orders at Amazon's fulfillment center. It's hard work, and it's $11 an hour, and there I was showing up uh, at 6 in the morning to punch in, clock in, like Fred Flintstone. But something interesting happened along the way. I learned that Actually, hard work feels great. And he perhaps has an even deeper appreciation for his listeners. I understand the, the, what it feels like to just get by, to work hard for a living. And despite a nearly devastating career detour, Hattrick wouldn't change a thing. Not a second, no way. I was humbled at a time I needed to be humbled. But he's glad to be back in his dream job, morning radio. It's easier, by the way, than lifting boxes all day. We wish Tim the best. If you're wondering about Willie, by the way, Tim's longtime radio partner for all those years, 25 or more years, Willie is doing great, playing a lot of golf, and Tim says Willie is fully supportive of him going back on the air.